Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my June empties video. Um, I really don't have that much stuff, but I wanted to at least try to keep it on a consistent basis since I was thinking about trying to figure out a schedule for videos. So I have a few weeks ideas that I video ideas that I want to do. So this was one of them. Because I always like a good empties video if you didn't know that. I have a lot of like non-makeup items. But we're just going to go with it. It's fine. So here's my little bag. So I'll go through the bigger stuff first. So I have an Aussie Total Miracle 7-in-1 Conditioner with Apricot and Australian Macadamia Oil. I've really been loving Aussie conditioners. I love that I can get these big sizes in these pumps. And this one smelled really good with the Apricot. So I would definitely pick that up again if I saw it. Then I used up a Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. I love Dr. Teal's Foaming Bubble Bath. I'm not a big lavender scent person, so this wasn't my most favorite thing I've ever had. But if I wanted a bubble bath and that was the one they had, I'd more than likely pick it up. Then I have Head and Shoulders Advanced 2-in-1 Ocean Lift. This... I like Head & Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo, but this Ocean Lift, do not get this. It was whew, right up in my nostrils, and it burned so bad every time I used it. Not my head, my sinuses. It was a lot going on, so I would definitely not ever get that scent again. That was just way too much. Whew. Then I have my trusty hair products, Tresemme. Extra Firm Control Mousse in number four and the Extra Firm Control Gel in number four. Pair these together and I think it makes my hair look pretty good. So that's what I use. Then I have two Bath & Body Works Shower Gels. I have Pretty as a Peach, which I've liked. Um, I like and I've repurchased in the past. And I have Sparkling Night, which is Ice pear, sheer freesia, sugared coconut, sandalwood, and white musk. Let me smell this. I don't remember what it smells like. It's okay. Pretty basic, clean smelling scent. So those were good. And now I have a little bit more fun stuff. Well, this one is the last, like, well, I have two more basic items. And then I'll go into the more fun items. This is the Secret um, pH Balance Powder Fresh Invisible Solid. Works well usually just buy that crest 3d white brilliant toothpaste in a little mini size i like that one more than i like the just the maybe i think i like the crest better than i like the colgate optic white i don't know i'm not that picky when it comes to toothpaste to be honest they all seem pretty similar to me but whatever then i have a real technique sponge this thing is all dingy i'll use the super stay found i've noticed but I'm using the L'Oreal foundation now, and maybe it's not, but I don't use that end. Um, what I was going to say is it's like really hard up here, and granted, I do not wash my sponges like I'm supposed to, so that's probably part of it. But I thought it was um, like really hard because I was using the Super Stay foundation, but I'm using the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte right now. And it's doing the same thing. So I don't know if it's just those sponges are weird. I don't know. Then I used up a eye pencil. Um, it still has a little bit left in it. But I sharpened it. And then I used it. And then I put it back in here. And it got stuck. Um, I don't know. I know the color was Saharan Gold. I don't know the brand. I'm pretty sure I got it in an Ipsy bag. Which was a really long time ago. So I don't really know anything about that. But I used it up. So there's that. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in 102 Fair Porcelain. I love this foundation. I'm using the L'Oreal right now, like I just said. And I want this so bad. The only reason I didn't pick it up is because I went to CVS. And my CVS does not carry this. And I needed foundation like that day. So, that was kind of sad. So, I need to go buy some. I still have my Ulta 20% off coupon that I'm going to go use. So, I'm going to purchase some of that while I'm there. Then I have this. <laughs> this is the Smashbox Spotlight Palette Pearl um, from Casey Holmes collaboration with Smashbox. And guys, I used up two of these. Two. I am not using this one. Um, I really only ever use that if I was going to like a special event, which is very slim to none ever. 
like I think I wore it two times in the past year um, it, because it does have glitter in it. I mean, it looks pretty on the skin, but I just don't see the point in keeping this entire thing. So I have used up, let me, um, I think I've used on, used Turn It On Pearl, Crank It Up Pearl, and this one is Blow A Fuse Pearl. So I'm just going to get rid of this because I do not need glittery highlights. So that's done. Yeah, so exciting. So then another exciting thing is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is what I also need to buy with that 20% uh, off coupon. Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. This is so good. I love this. I got this in a boxy charm. I think boxy luxe or maybe just regular boxy charm. I don't know. So good. Wow. Super impressed with this. Like, wow. So definitely... That made my skin feel so good, so hydrated. I didn't have any breakouts when I was using it. It was amazing. So, yes. This is the Glam Glow Glow Solder Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. The smell of this smelled like creamsicle, and I could smell it on my face, like, for a while. Um, it was okay, but I would not buy the full size of that. I have a little purse travel size guy of the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. Use that up. I'm trying to use up my full size right now that I've had for a while, but I went ahead and used that one up. Then I have my oil absorbing sheets from Walgreens. I always have some of those in my empties. Use them every single day. I have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. This one's really good. Um, I like it, but I found other ones I like better. That are higher end, of course, but um, there is the wand on that. I mean, it's a good basic mascara. Um, then I have the Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm. This is the lip balm that I've decided to keep purchasing unless I want to get like some kind of one in a jar. But this is what I've been repurchasing, so I'm going to go ahead and keep with that trend. Then I have two, which I think are exciting, is the Bath & Body Works Hello Beautiful Perfume Spray. Just an FYI, because this is what I was going to say about this. One, it smells really good. And I got compliments on that. So, that's really good, because I normally don't get compliments on my fragrances. But this is very... I like this as a date perfume, to be honest. But, um, I wore it other times. But, um, you... These are like... I don't remember how much they are. But if Bath & Body Works has a free item up to like $12 coupon, you can use these for the perfume. So sometimes you can't use it on certain items, but the perfumes do count. So I got this for free. So, and I really liked it. And plus it wasn't a roller wall, it was a sprayer. So that's like hands down amazing. So I really loved that. It was really good. Then I think the most exciting product of all, dun 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 dun. Marc Jacobs lipstick in slow burn. This was a mini, but it took me a long time. And I had to get a lip brush because one edge was like up here and then the other end was at the plastic. So I got a lip brush to make it, this is all plastic right here. So if I roll it down to, that's the product. So there is none left other than what's inside there, but I'm just not not doing it anymore with the lip brush. I love this color so much. Like, let me see if I can uh, get a swatch. Uh, not really. You get the idea from that. That's pretty bad, but you get the idea. I really love this. I really do. Um, I don't know that I would buy a full-size Marc Jacobs lipstick, but I loved this while I had it, and I'm very excited. That I used it up and it's out of my collection yay so I had two super exciting makeup empties like whoa good job Emily <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this month's empties video let me know down below what you guys used up this month and if you had any exciting makeup in empties that you were very excited about and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye